Hey guys, my name is Tan. And I'm Reese. And this is our van Oki. Oki is a 2014 Iveco Daily. She's a long wheelbase high roof and we picked her up with 50,000 Ks and she is honestly going like a dream. We hope you love our little tiny home on wheels as much as we do. So first things first, we decided to build a wall between the cab and our living area. Our main reasons were because we wanted thermal insulation and we wanted it to be soundproof. We've noticed it gets really hot in the cab when the sun is blaring through, but you don't feel it at all in here if you keep this door closed. And also when we're driving and things are rattling around, you can't hear it at all because of the sound barrier that it creates. It has also acted as an amazing storage space for us. So firstly, we have this above head storage, which holds all my clothes, all our spare linen, towels, bits and bobs. There's still room for more in there. <laughs> Down below here, we have built a mini little cabinet, which holds all my toiletries and oils and bits and bobs, and a shoe storage space. It also holds our galele and our ukulele. We've got my beautiful plant here. And probably the best purpose of this book would be our little secret door that we have built. So this obviously goes directly through to the cab. This has been amazing so far for stealth camping and actually also when it's raining and we don't want to have to open the sliding door and risk getting things wet, we just crawl through here. And on the back of this door we have a little basket for bits and bobs that we use on the daily. We've got our fire hydrant and we actually decided to put our bin here and this has been amazing. So when we're driving, we have access to the bin and also just when you're cooking, it's super easy to get to. Behind our front seat in the cab, we had a bit of spare space. So we put a big bag in there, which holds all our dirty laundry. To the side here, we have my favorite little spot in the van, which is our little spice rack. My dad actually built this for me when I was really young, so it's got a lot of character and it just feels like a nice little piece of home that we're able to take with us everywhere we go. So then, you're in our little kitchen area. It was really important to us to have a nice big kitchen space. We wanted it to feel open. We both love cooking, so we wanted it to be easy to use. We have a big sink in here and Reese actually built a little chopping board out of the cutout that we had to use for the sinkhole. So this is great when you're not using the sink. You've got that little bit of extra bench space. It's also been great just as a mini table to put on the bed if you're playing cards or whatever. We opted for quite a large sink. We noticed whenever we'd go camping before the van, doing dishes was the most annoying thing. So we wanted to be able to do them easily in the van. So we've got a large sink, we've got a tap that has a little spray handle. And we also have our filter tap for all our drinking water. As our kitchen backsplash, we have our main window that we installed. This window is great because it actually opens outwards. So you can have it open when it's raining and still get that airflow while you're cooking. Above us, we have our fan, which acts as an extraction fan, or it also pulls in the cool air on the hot days. Another favorite little feature of mine is these backsplash tiles, which are in the Kit Kat style. So here we have our Thetford double burner gas cooktop. This has worked amazing for us so far. Below us we have our Bushman 85 litre fridge, which we are so glad we spent that little bit of extra money on. It holds over a week's worth of our food. It's super power efficient, super compact, durable. We love it. <laughs> Reese actually custom built this kitchen and a big priority for us was to have heaps of storage so all the drawers are quite deep and it holds everything we need in there. So in this drawer we have all our utensils, tea towels, random bits and pieces. In this drawer we hold all our spices, spare jars, the 
again, spare bits and pieces. <laughs> this drawer is our favourite drawer. It holds all of our coffee gear, all of our teas, our mugs. And then this drawer has been amazing. It's super deep. So we hold all of our crockery, our pots and pans, our little coffee machine, my Nutribullet, chopping boards, everything is in here and it fits perfect. We actually opted for stackable saucepans which you can remove the handles and we found that that's also helped to keep it nice and neat in here. Above us we have our little feature shelf which holds all of our glass jars and our pantry goods. We get a lot of questions about these and people asking how they stay put, do they rattle heaps, how are they not breaking. So we actually glued them all down with a heavy duty velcro and we were a little bit skeptical at first if that would work but it has worked a treat so far. We've been on some of the worst, most corrugated roads and they've all stayed completely put. They do rattle a little bit but it's not noticeable like we said we've got the soundproofing the van so you don't hear it. They have been amazing for being able to shop waste free which was something that's really important to us and they look really cute too so win-win. <laughs> As you move through the van, you'll notice we have a fixed bed and this little sitting area. Uh, the Ivecos are slightly wider, so we're able to fit a full double mattress widthways, and then that gave us the space for this little L lounge. It just gives us that space that you don't always want to just be jumping in your bed. That's for sleeping and it keeps it nice and clean. This area gives you somewhere to just chill, read a book or work or whatever you want to do. It also gave us a lot more storage options as well. So each of these little cushions come apart in section. So if we pull up this area, this is our pantry and our charging station. So this long one is the pantry. That gives us so much food storage. We've probably got a week's worth of food in there. And then we have this little charging station. So we have power points, our battery monitor, and an inverter switch. Then as you move around, we have this section here. This is actually our table. So this is on a lagoon leg. This lagoon leg enables the table to swivel into different positions. So you can have it over the bed if you want to watch a movie in bed. It can be a desk here for two people or you can put it between and someone can sit there and someone can sit here. The table also acts as a full kitchen extension. So you have like an L kitchen bench. Then as you move down below, we have another pantry storage section. This also gives us a bunch more food storage. The other thing you'll notice in this section is our longboard on the wall. So this makes it easier for one person to get it in and out. We've just got it sat on two little tool hooks from Bunnings for a couple of dollars. A piece of rope that acts as a pulley system. So all you have to do, untie that, slide the board out and you're ready to go. So this is our little bedroom area. It is definitely the coziest little nook in the van. As Reese mentioned earlier, we were able to fit a full-size double mattress in widthways. It's about six foot, so I fit perfectly in it and Reese just has to sleep slightly on the diag, but it's been so comfortable. We're really glad that we opted for the fixed bed rather than having to set it up every day and like we said the mattress is a lot more comfortable not having to be segmented so over here we have another little window this has worked amazing to have a bit of airflow during the night we also have some more storage up here so this is where Reese keeps all of his clothes and in the other section we keep all our winter gear um, some of our shoes hats books and then just above me here I have my little bookshelf so this is our garage area. This is another benefit of having the fixed bed is all of this storage and we have so much stuff under here and probably heaps of space to go. We are able to keep our wetsuit, a spare fridge, um, chairs, diving gear, all our electrical and we have our freshwater water tank under here. So we have a 80 litre freshwater water tank and we have a additional 20 litre jerry can for fresh water. For the fresh water system, we have a outlet here and a fill point. So that's good for like fresh water washing, um, wetsuits or just a quick rinse after a surf. On top of the water tank, this is where two more surfboards go in addition to the surfboard on the wall. For showering, we decided not to have a full built shower. We just didn't need 
that inside. We opted just for a little instant hot water heater. This connects up to the water outlet and it is a gem. Like that thing, you just hang on the side of the door, you use it when you want to use it, and that is honestly great. Down here we have a little sitting deck. So this is great just to be able to look out, have your coffee or whatever out here. We have this little table which acts as both a standing desk if you want to work, um, as well as when you have the shower set up, it's a great little storage for like shampoos and stuff like that. Underneath the van, um, we have a 50 litre grey water tank under there, so we can be self-contained. We have 300 watts of solar on the roof. We have a 330 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery, a 2000 watt inverter, and a 40 amp charge controller. The charge controller is a EnerDrive charge controller, which can be run from DC to DC, so from the car's alternator as well as the solar. And then the inverter is a Renergy 2000 watt inverter, which can convert 12 volt power to 240, so you can use your common household appliances. Throughout the van, we've got different little sockets and little knickknacks all around and lighting. Up here, we have the switch, which is a two-way switch, one here and one at the back of the van. That uh, turns on the main lights, they're little down lights that just gives us a nice all-purpose lighting in the vent. At the kitchen we have a, a couple of little points, so we have a 240 volt tail point, we have a 12 volt USB socket and we have another light switch that um, powers the LED strip under the shelf. So the final little features that we added to the van would be the awning which is just above the door here which acts as a bit of extra shade on a super hot day. We also have added this little drop down table here. It's super handy when you just want to sit in the doorway, you can have your drinks. We've had sunset beverages with friends where they've had a little cheese platter out here. So yeah, that's been a nice little addition. Thank you guys so much for joining us on that little tour. If you liked it, feel free to give us a like and if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments and we will get back to you as soon as we can. We'll be making a few more videos of our trip around Australia, diving, surfing, just all of that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. please subscribe and we'll see you guys around. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.